We're not, you know, it's not, I know this is on right now, but we're not oh my placating God, totally anybody. <laughs> <laughs> we're not placating anybody, we'll just... I'm still thinking about the fucking Bill Murray thing. <laughs> like, God damn it. Oh, I really love him too, and I don't know. I'm sorry, Bill, <laughs> if you're listening. If you, for some reason, ever meet me, and you listen to this. <laughs> What's the thing from Stripes? You know, you know. <laughs> Tell me. Yeah. Do the bit. <laughs> Have you ever, any, ever seen like new pictures of him, but like that are in HD? Why? No, no, no just because like he's old cause now. He's so. just like yeah, it doesn't, looking? it doesn't look good. Yeah, like I mean, but still, like he you're wasn't. Like, I, okay, that's something he was. Whenever people would be like, "Oh, he's a handsome guy," mm-hmm. I've never understood that. He's funny as fuck. He's like maybe back in like Ghostbusters. No. Not in my opinion. He's like, I mean, um, if I, if, yeah, see, really, he's a handsome really? man. If yeah, I, I mean, back in the day, if he's I a was, man. if I was a guy trolling for some D, uh-huh. I'm not going to Bill Murray. <laughs> Don't I mean, I, you, I, I mean, yeah, there's there's many better choices, yeah. but yeah. I think he's got some sort. I mean, if of, he's got some devilish charm if to him. Yeah. Call me Bill. Exclusively <laughs> from those from the Ghostbuster movie, I I would probably. I mean, if it's it's not those, if it's. Is it out of those three, or would it be out of those four? Would it be out of the four Ghostbusters? Well, why would you four. exclude the black guy? Well, because the poster did. <laughs> no, well, he, yeah, he, no, no, he's no. there. Yeah. He just can't see him. <laughs> yeah, uh, he's he, in the black negative is he, space. Is he, is he the the actual background? Yes, because the background is black. Is yes. that where he is? Yes. Because I gotta be honest, I'm probably taking the black guy out of those four Ghostbusters. I think he's the most handsome. Uh, I just think Bill Murray. Which one? Can... For the I'll original four. What's his name? <laughs> Ernie Davis. Who do we go gay for? Would you? Yeah. The black because they're all. Like, I go Bill Murray. They're all schlo- they're schlubby looking they're white schlubby guys. Schlubby and the nerd. Like all right, Harold Ramis. That he's number four. <laughs> <laughs> Clearly number four. A strong four. Ackroyd. Ackroyd's all right. He's I'm sure three. he did well for himself. He's a three. Yeah. And then, then Bill Murray, but then Ernie Davis was, he's hes still a handsome guy. Ernie Davis is, I'm not saying Ernie Davis is not a handsome guy. I want gentleman. fan art of like me with my arm around <laughs> Ernie Davis. <laughs> <laughs> well, Bill Murray just stands like at the corner, just <laughs> like the kid that didn't get picked. Yeah. <laughs> for any sport. <laughs> Actually, you know what? That's what this show will be. Just bring up IMDb. <laughs> We're going to do eight <laughs> movies. Only male cats. Who would you <laughs> fuck? Who are we going to fuck? <laughs> Uh, first movie we're gonna do is Better Off Dead. I'm gonna pick Cusack, <laughs> and then Booger obviously you're gonna pick yeah. Cusack. <laughs> Why wouldn't you pick Cusack? Oh, who are you? Oh, uh, I'm Snip Whistles. Snip Whistles. <laughs> yes. That's not Snip Whistles. That it sounds like Just a weatherman. Snipping around, a, like in a backwoods fucking town. <laughs> Like, he's the town weatherman. Like, oh, we're going to get rain on Friday. And are then it's snip? 85. <laughs> are we, Snip? Yeah, yeah. we are. You, oh, my God. My twin brother. <laughs> oh, it's me, Chip Whistles. <laughs> <laughs> Chip always predicts snow, and Snip always predicts rain, and eventually they're always right. <laughs> and some they're like, they're they're like the Starks. They're eventually right. <laughs> That's right. Occasionally, and by occasionally, I mean most of the time, though. They're way off. <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah. All of summer, yeah. basically. It's going to be 35 and cold out. I don't believe you. Okay. <laughs> it's July. You're going to see. Pack pack an umbrella. Yeah? Yeah. For the snow? Yes. In July. Uh-huh. Can I leave? Yeah. Okay. Chip, <laughs> Chip, you're on the air. Oh. Stop having a conversation. <laughs> oh. Uh, tornadoes! <laughs> and then he just dunks under the camera. <laughs> Like, what? <laughs> Thank you, Chip. What, uh, what else would people call you? Oh, uh, well, people also call me uh, Matt. <laughs> A jerk. <laughs> oh, again? <laughs> <laughs> Cry oh, puke. Oh, Every time with this guy. <laughs> oh, people. Oh. Oh, your phone is playing just, your beautiful just, sonata. <laughs> just a touch of professionalism, please. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. We all get one. Yeah. This is fine. After that, I'm fine. Come on, Al. Or Done snip, after that. Whatever we're calling you. Uh, <laughs> whatever the fuck uh, your name is. People call me Mayat. Mayat. Oh, Mayat. <laughs> and uh, you can reach me at RLF YouTube. Yes. 
I'm Reggie, and you can reach me at Regitators. And I'm Nikolai, and you can reach me at The Room is Spinning. That's right. Yeah. yeah. Oh, that's right. Should we tell everyone about your terrible disease? <laughs> it's not a disease. I mean, no, but it's... tell everybody about your, like, smallpox. Uh, <laughs> so I've got the Ebola. <laughs> right. Wow. Ebola. Congratulations. <laughs> that's directly stolen from, I think, Tosh.0. So. Ebola. Yeah. Ebola. <laughs> you say it like that. Um, uh, I woke up last Sunday morning and I was dizzy as I was, like, on my way to the bathroom. And mm-hmm. I, had had a good time the night before, so she's like, "All right, feeling a little lightheaded, standing there doing my morning business," and I was like, "God, I feel really extra shitty." Uh-huh. And the room, like this bathroom, is spinning quite a bit. A lot. It's okay. not stopping. Okay. Um, went back into my bedroom, sat down on the edge of the bed, and within two seconds, I was like, "Yeah, I'm gonna throw up everything." Oh. Uh-huh. I'm gonna throw it all up. Okay. So run to the bathroom, vomit like. Uh, like apparently no one, uh, no one ever has before. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> I thought I was really expecting things to come out that I was body like, parts. Yeah, I was like, I haven't had Wendy's in three weeks. <laughs> <laughs> like, How is that still in there? Yeah. <laughs> um, so puke, go back, sit down. And I had a flag football game that I was going to start trying to get ready for. Because apparently I was like, no, I'm going to play. <laughs> I'm doing this. Um, I'm just I'm a little st- hungover. <laughs> <laughs> As I'm standing up, getting changed, I make myself so nauseous from standing that I go and throw up again. Oh. So I spend the rest of my Sunday, I tell the guys on the flag football team, like, listen, I can't make it. Tell, spend the rest of my Sunday on my my back, just watching football. By the end of the night, I'm feeling pretty good. Definitely better than the morning. Wake up Monday, and it's significantly worse. Uh-huh. Significantly worse. The room is constantly spinning, even when I'm laying down. Okay. Um, I had worked that day and I was under the assumption that I was going to be a trooper and just go into work. So I was like, you're a better man than me. I was like, you need to shower. So I go in the shower and I get so sick, like nauseous and dizzy from standing up in the shower. I start vomiting in the shower. Nice. Right. Like just, just, just imagine like you're holding on to uh, my shower a has, of a, has a safety bar. So I'm just holding on to the safety bar because I might f- literally feel like my head is spinning. The best way for me to describe it is if you are under the age of 21, it's like the moment you get off of like the teacups ride at like uh, Disney World when you, they're just fucking spinning over and over again. Mm-hmm. Or if you're over 21, it's the point in the night where you're going to either puke or pass out from drinking. Right. <laughs> but it's 24 fucking 7. <laughs> so I'm holding on to the safety bar in the shower just got like I've, just, I've got soap in my hair. Just, <laughs> it's gonna just, be a good day. <laughs> <laughs> Time to go to work. <laughs> <laughs> I could do it. That's what I want. <laughs> so I call my job. I'm like, listen, I am not fucking coming in. Uh, tell my mom, I was like, you got to take me to the hospital because I can't walk. I'm dying. Without, <laughs> I can't walk without vomiting. Yeah. Yeah. So. Uh, she takes me to the ER. It, we had to stop the car multiple times on the way there because I oh could not God. could not drive without throwing up. Like it was horrific. Um, get to the hospital and I was diagnosed with pregnancy. Birth. He's yep. pregnant. I, <laughs> Congratulations. It's a girl. I know already. Oh, yeah. Congratulations. <laughs> no, uh, vertigo. I have vertigo, which apparently is not just a disease. Four 80 year old women, uh huh, 26 year old men can get it as well. <laughs> and uh, uh, I found out that I, I did not know this, but uh, it, it's recurrent, yeah, it stays with you, yeah, which is not good. No, it's not good, it's not good. Wait, so it's, it's been di- a week now, it's a disease, or it's not a disease, it's, it's, an not... inner, it's an inner, like an. Faction, like your equilibrium is thrown off. Exactly. It, it just happens. I you... think it's a. I think one of the main causes of it is like a calcium buildup on your, uh, whatever the. I, I don't know the actual. The terms. inner ear the tube inner ear that ear holds ear. a uh, thing of yeah, liquid that controls, that controls equilibrium. And I think it's a calcium buildup that doesn't allow, <clears throat> basically, your inner ear to do what it's supposed to do. Okay. It does it at a slower rate, so I'm constantly in a state of spinning. Dizzy. Basically, yeah. his shit's fucked. And he needs to um, take some medication to get his shit unfucked. Yeah. Um, the, the doctor at the emergency room was like, listen, um, you're going to be better in two days or two weeks. Oh. He's <laughs> like, it's really going to be one of those things. You're either going to be laid up for the next two days or you're going to be feeling effects of this for the next two weeks. Yeah. So it's two weeks for me because mm-hmm. still feeling effects of it. But now it's at the point where I've kind of almost adjusted. Okay. Yeah. 
So. It just kind of feels like you're on a cruise ship. Now. Basically, all the time. <laughs> That's fun. But yeah. is, is it any better? I mean, obviously. Significantly. Okay. Monday, so. I could not. I, it, Monday, laying down was the only thing I was capable of doing. Uh-huh. Even that was not was no bueno. Yeah. Um, now, obviously, I'm sitting up talking excessively. They give you. They give you. <laughs> they give you medication for the nausea. They right? They gave you medication for the nausea, which was fantastic. They gave me medication for the dizziness, which was non-existent. Okay. Yeah. So, and they were like, you know, if you don't use all the pills, save them. Just in case. Sell them. them. <laughs> yeah, I imagine. <laughs> it's like, they're, just, like, yeah. they're like, hey, $20. Bring <laughs> right them back. Oh, yeah. nice. Yeah, I'll, I'll take care of you. <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, that's what's going on in my Damn. life. Well, I mean, I, I, at least you came out better on the other end. The same... Unfortunately, can't be said for our friend who's missing today. That's true. Yeah. Yep. He isn't just very quiet today. No, <laughs> no, he's he's not here, and um, I get it's okay. It's okay. I think Al should take the reins and explain what, the story. What? What? I, like I can't even. I know you and wow. I are a little bit too close to the situation, so I think I should really let Al. <laughs> and I don't care about him. <laughs> <laughs> Well, um, he heard, well, I mean, from secondhand Twitter and Facebook statuses from you guys uh, that course. you posted. Um, I don't like talking to him in person. No, no, no. It's like, almost unbearable. <laughs> uh, apparently there was a two-for-one deal on dildos uh-huh. at our local Dildorium. Great, great deal. Dildorium. Yeah. Dildorium. Great deal. It's just a big shop in the I, shape I of I just it. want to stop you right there. Yeah? Um, you got to shop at Dildorium. Yeah, it's great. <laughs> Dildo- Support your local small. It's your dildo emporium, <laughs> yeah. Dildorium. Yeah. Dildo- <laughs> go on. I'm sorry. Well, I mean, I, I, well, r- f- going on that, you can if you go there. Most of them do have it. It's an elevator. You can go to the top of the cock. Uh-huh. Yeah. <laughs> you can bring your kids. It's, yeah. it's really great. It's yeah. yeah uh, once can... an hour, it, like the top fills up with like a white stuff, and it just shoots out of the top. And it's like, like whoa! Oh, Merry Christmas! Yeah. Uh, <laughs> it's very festive. It's very, during Hanukkah, the liquid's blue. Oh yes, yeah. it's the best. Yeah. Of course. So. Uh, fall, there's leaves. Yeah. My favorite. My favorite guys who are are, are the guys on the outside. Oh, are those little... <laughs> oh God. <laughs> Sorry, your favorite guys. No, no. My favorite guys are the guys who are standing on the outside and they're charging like five bucks a picture and they've got little crab costumes that you put on and then you, <laughs> hug, you like hug the side of it and you're just like, ah. <laughs> well, we digress. Right. Um. There was the two for one deal. Yes. He gets there. He purchases his uh, dildo. Right. Yes. Two yes, for one that's deal. Right. Two and for one. Uh, like, oh, I don't know what he was thinking. Like, there are porn stars who can't take dildos that big. And he decided one in the bum, one in the mouth, same time. You, and, yeah. I mean, you have to breathe. You do. You can't just you can't. You, you fill can't. yourself with cocks and <laughs> not. Die. No. Um, well. Authorities found him like a rotisserie chicken. <laughs> just he spinning. Was, just in his hallway. Yeah. He, <laughs> he hooked both of them up. They, what they did is they strap onto the walls. <laughs> and there was a motor in them. And there's a motor and it spins and it. I don't know why he thought. I mean, he must. At have, least they found him when they did. He died in ecstasy. I'll say that much. <laughs> I, it, 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 a smile on a face. The doctor said it was only somewhere between six and eighteen hours that he was stuck there uh, rotating. He'd only been dead for thirty minutes, though. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> we're I mean, laughing that, because I, we're filled with grief. It's, yeah. it's sad. Well, you know what? It's yeah. it's, it's it's sad. But he went out the way he wanted and to we go. Exactly. That way, the no? doctor said he he was experiencing no pain, at least that he didn't enjoy. Of, co- of course. Of course. Yes. Uh, and and it was just a matter of he actually over orgasmed to death. It wasn't yes. suffocation. Yeah. yeah. So, you thought there was a lot of white stuff coming out of the top of Diltorium. Well, yeah. You should have seen that. And he was rotating, it so was it was disgusting. going everywhere. It was disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> it was... <laughs> what has happened to us? <laughs> I'm just I I can't. All right, we need to move on because yeah. that I think we should uh, I think we should get some do some Twitter questions. Just shake it all shake it all out. Yeah. Get some Taylor Swift in here and shake it oh, all. Oh yeah. yeah, I'm not proud of that. No, you should. Uh, I like it. <laughs> yeah, I'm good with it. Hashtag dildo awareness month. <laughs> <laughs> a 
<laughs> Which month? Oh, December. Just tell them the word. December. December. Yeah. December. December. Yeah. A lot of people get dildos as like joke gifts. Don't That's joke true. around. That shit's scary. Yeah. Get up your butt. <laughs> <laughs> Your butt. What, you, you know, what are you doing? Dildos are well known for sneaking up bubbles. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> just, Whoop! Night, oh, <laughs> son of a bitch! <laughs> you're, you're, you think you're just getting a mail out of the mailbox? <laughs> nope. You just got dildoed. <laughs> Take that. Did we ever do the funny dildo? Like any the funny <laughs> dildo? Did, 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 uh, did well, any I of mean, us? We just did a thing like no, ten minutes. Did, with did any of us ever buy a dildo? Like with our group? Oh, uh, at Sir Bislo and. The silly dopers know about um, dildo the dildo. Yep. That Andrew was given. Um, okay, so Andrew. The night did before, it. yeah, the night before he left for college. But we, oh. Um. And yeah. that that room, and he still had that. Who bought him that? A while ago. I don't remember. I want to say Josh. Probably bought him that. I feel like it was either Josh or it was the girls we hung out with. Okay. At the time. Might have him. been the girls. I'm, you know what? Now that I'm thinking about it, I'm almost certain it was the girls that we hung out with. Yeah, because because the that was their way of saying go fuck yourself. Yes, <laughs> including Very his girlfriend. Classy. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but if you fr- want to hear more about that, you should listen to Dope Silly. Dope Silly. That's right. And you can tweet him at Dope Silly and at Sir Bislo. And mm-hmm. they have uh, t-shirts uh, exclusively of Andrew's nose uh-huh. at Dope Silly at t-shirts dot com. That's right. It's mm-hmm. but it's an upward shot of the nose, so it's yes. just the insides. It's very good. Yeah, it's beautiful artistic detailed. Work. Mm-hmm. Um, our first Twitter question is from Cade Snicket. Yo, what's up, Cade? I feel like Cade Snicket has written in before. He has, he has. At Cade's a Viking is his name. Oh, that's right, yeah. Um. What have you conquered, Cade? At all of YouTube, (laughs) if you had a chance to run naked through any famous event in history, what would it be? Okay, got it. Um, the assassination of Abraham Lincoln. Really? (laughs) You just, hey, John, let's go now! Yeah. Yeah. Sweet freeze freaking nuts. <laughs> <laughs> He's nuts. Abraham Lincoln's like, my word. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and then he sees the gun and swats it away. <laughs> Got it. <here. laughs> uh, I want to run through uh, the protests at Tiananmen Square. Oh my god. <laughs> just, to, just to ruin that photo. Matt, it didn't happen. Right. No, I know. I understand that. But the tanks and rolling down the street and that one guy standing there. And then it's just a succession <laughs> shots of me like oh, 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 like really breathing heavily. Oh, yeah, yeah. Like I stop like and put my arm on the guy. <laughs> oh, some tanks coming. <laughs> oh, keep running. <laughs> I just love the idea of it still being that very panned out shot. Yeah. And just slowly from the side of the screen, you're just like, what? Is that? Is that a fat white guy? Is that a chubby white guy? Yeah. That's a chubby white guy, bud. Chubby white guy. You just, <laughs> you just see him just slowly going to current stops. Just breathe on the guy, and then he's just you see, you see him like take a se- assess the situation, like oh, 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 oh I'm in the wrong place. <laughs> like, <laughs> I gotta get out of here. Oh. <laughs> Is this your grandma? Uh, That's pretty good. I'd probably do it the um the railroad connecting ceremony from east to west. Oh, you know how like he uh well it it was. It was Abraham Lincoln, right? The, no. No, it was, it was uh, Ulysses S. Grant. It was S. Grant, that's right. Uh, so Grant had the hammer and like he swung in the last one. Like I would have just like pushed him aside and grabbed the thing and, and just slammed it just down just and been like, Woo! like these free swinging boobies are gonna do it. Yeah. Like naked, naked taters wins forever. Like I go, that's how I go down history. Like, Look at my tater tots, freedom forever. <laughs> Railroad that I just run. <laughs> you jump on a train as it runs by. Of course. <laughs> I think that'd be pretty great. God. That would be pretty fantastic. Yeah. Um, I was going to say the, the moon. The moon landing. Landing. <laughs> And then God. immediately die. Yeah, right? It'd be the greatest <laughs> mystery. Oh, no. How long can you last? Is it 10 seconds? Wait, wait, wait. No, yeah, it's actually disproven. Uh, you can last for a good amount of time without a space suit. Wait, wait. What about um, a clear space Before you suit? freeze, actually. As long as it would take you to freeze. Oh. What about a clear spacesuit? They'd probably tackle me. You never That's know. True. What would you think, Buzz? All that, that'd be his primary concern. He's like, I could plant this flag <laughs> or tackle that naked fellow. Probably tackle well, me. Well, I gotta be honest. I got a number of questions. <laughs> First, being, how did they get here without us knowing there was a naked <laughs> fellow? Like, finally, <laughs> shipped the whole time. <laughs> this is one small step for man, one giant, 
what the fuck is that? <laughs> Hi there. Nah, so you don't have problems. There's a uh, there's a naked individual. Comes my cock. Oh God, <laughs> Neil, watch out! It's hostile and horny. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that's pretty good. Which mission was that? Uh, well, Apollo what? That made it to, uh... Oh, fuck. I feel like I should know that. I think it's like six. I have no idea. I feel like I should know that. I know it's enough. Apollo six, this is Houston. Do not approach the naked man. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever you do, abort mission. <laughs> Hold on one second. I have to restart my phone. I'm oh, fucking leave. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So while you're doing that, what's another place you'd want to go naked streaking through? Because I gotta be honest, that I've done the Lincoln assassination, I want to stop by JFK's assassination. <laughs> oh, <man. laughs> <laughs> <laughs> hey, look, there's another shooter over here. <laughs> <laughs> you just leave me. I just keep dropping in a presidential assassination. <laughs> the legend of the naked Italian <laughs> <laughs> has. Plagued historians for centuries. Hey, How has he been there? Yeah. Every time the president gets shot, he's just not shot. <laughs> known as an omen of Italian death. <laughs> so, someone sees me standing behind President Obama, they're just like, no! And he freaks the fuck out. <laughs> oh my god. Um, I would want to... Oh, God, where would I want to run naked through? Where else would I want to run naked through? I mean, the other one I was going to... Uh, Normandy? Oh, no. <laughs> no. Absolutely no. not. There's so much shrapnel. It's just a little cold. It's a little cold. <laughs> not there. my primary concern. <laughs> oh, they're shooting at me? I have to me? imagine the Nazis and bombs. Who my primary I'm good. Con- yeah. I'm free. It's the only time I've ever been free. <laughs> Ah, my leg! My leg facing on! They're all gone! God damn it. (laughs) I knew this would happen. Every time. Uh, I have to think of another place? Yeah, or you don't have to. No, I'm trying to think. I had one and I lost it. Um... Ooh, the opening ceremony for the Olympics. <laughs> you you take the, uh, the Olympics the torch, in Berlin. Torch down no. <laughs> the Hitler Olympics. Yeah, Hitler, the Hitler Olympics. <laughs> I want to run naked at some at some point with Hitler, but I can't decide when. No, no. Like the minute before he eats the suicide pill and shoots yeah. himself, the cyanide pill. Like I'm like I'm just standing there. What's yeah. up? <laughs> he's the most confused he's ever been. All right. Um, I, I honestly, I would probably say if I had to choose one more place, <laughs> it would be, uh, at the end of, um, the fuck is the nickname of the football game? The, the, the greatest last minute play of all time. The Miracle uh, Mile High? No, not Mile High. Rudy? Mile, Mile Miracle. Rudy? Yes, Rudy. That's it. The Rudy. Yes. The Rudy. The Rudy. I want to run through the Rudy. Yeah. Yep. And just be like, woo! Rudy! Rudy! <laughs> you know what? There's, John, there's two John Favreau's. Shut the thing? fuck up, Ben Affleck! <laughs> <laughs> you remember Vince Vaughn? Vince Vaughn? Yeah. Shit! <laughs> it's fucking, I forget, the dickhead from, the dickhead from that movie yeah. and the dickhead from Dazed and Confused. Yes. <laughs> I mean, those two movies, constantly getting abused. Uh, obviously. Rudy, Dazed and Confused. <laughs> one's um, a story of triumph, one's about Children being paddled in the ass and underage drinking. Right. They're both coming of age. Stories. Yeah, it's true. In a way. Not really. <laughs> Not really. Um, <laughs> next one is a, uh, a simple question mm. from at Chase Good. Best oh, Monopoly who Space. Who is that? Best Monopoly Space. Oh, this is my oh, question. Oh, God. Oh, this is, I don't even know Monopoly. This is my question. It's either the green or the red. Oh, God. See, I like the yellow. Mm-mm. The yellow is very good. It's the yellow. It's the yellow orange row. Yeah, yellow. It's or- the yellow orange row. I like the green and red. Because my jam is my corner. It's the green is too expensive. It's too expensive to develop the properties. You get, but you get such a good return. I on know it. you get a great return on it, but it's only three properties. But if you can land that orange and yellow row, you're set in stone. But what if you, what if you do the green and red the corner? Wait. Green and red corner. No, it doesn't go red. Can you pull up the board? Oh, wait, no, it's it's red and then something else and then green and blue. It goes purple, light blue, orange. No, no pink. No, it's the fuchsia, yeah. I don't know. He's bringing it up. 
Yeah, fuchsia. Orange, yellow. I'm saying the orange. Uh, what the orange, red, red. red. Red, yellow is what I'm talking about. Oh, and what, I'm talking about the yellow queen. What are the, na- what are the names? Where? The yellow. There's a lot of different names. Marvin Gardens, is that one of the names? Oh. Uh, yeah. Atlanta yeah. Cabin, yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, those ones. <laughs> See, I'm a big oh, fan of... and the four of... railroads. I would suck a dick for a railroad. <laughs> oh, my God. And I'm playing Monopoly. Uh, the answer, the answer yeah. is uh, obviously Orange Red Corner. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Orange Red Corner is where it's at. Yeah. Yellow... Uh, the yellow green corner is so good. Yellow though. can suck a dick. Whoa. Whoa, man. I'm Whoa. saying it. Hey, Sitch just died. Yeah, sure. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't say suck a dildo. Oh, you're right. Okay. We're good. I... The, Last time I played Monopoly was at the cabin, yeah. and I was stealing money when the whole time. Looking. Yeah, the whole time. <laughs> Did you see it? You just didn't care. No, he told me right after. Yeah. Oh. I was like, I don't know how to play this game. Yeah. I was watching you steal. We were watching so you. Did we even finish or no? We yeah, because I won. We did. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> every single time our group of friends plays Monopoly, it comes down to me and Ruble. I was like, and Ruble came in second. And Ruble was so mad so, because he, because that was like the second time in a row. That he had lost to me by like less than twenty dollars. Yeah. Yeah. And it's Ruble, so he's the maddest he ever. Was pissed. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Uh that's that's it for our uh-huh. Twitter questions this week. Oh uh, yeah? Uh yeah, we had uh <laughs> we had a couple other ones, but it's all stuff we've uh, we've answered before. Favorite colors, unfortunately. Favorite animals. Favorite color, go. Blue. Orange. Blue. Green? Yeah. All right, why is it Blue, blue? Brothers? Let's blue actually, Brothers. Let's dive deep into this. Uh, into the blue. psychology of our yeah. favorite colors. It's a pleasing color. I would say all I got. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, yeah. What about you, Al? Why do you like blue so much? Uh, I don't know. Because of that song. It's blue. And then we find out he's a huge fan of I'm Blue. <laughs> what is the name of that band? Eiffel, oh, uh, Eiffel 614. Eiffel, Eiffel, Eiffel. That's what you know? <laughs> we fucking talk about Yeah. We he's like, about movies who? we've seen with you. Arnold Schwarzer who? <laughs> Who sang the song I'm Blue? Oh, Eiffel 64. Yeah. Obviously. <laughs> and Anything else you'd like to know about 90s pop hits? <laughs> well, I think it's too Castles nice. in the Sky, yeah. you know. <laughs> Beautiful. I love all those songs. Oh, there She Goes. Yeah, that's great. I actually do enjoy that song. Which one? There She Goes? Yeah. Yeah. That, like, well, I mean, you know. Yeah. There She Goes Again. Oh, so yeah. I, was, I, was, I didn't want to sing it. <laughs> no one sang with me. Yeah. <laughs> You're too much. Oh. Oh. Still pretty good though. Um, do you guys want to do fan art? Uh, yeah, yeah, let's do some fan art. Uh, no comments this week because I suck. Well, you were sick, so that's true. That's fine. From the fans, from. Imagine if there was a fan art of Sight just being a rotisserie. Uh, <laughs> rotisserie yeah. dick. Fucking new. <laughs> <laughs> Tears of joy streaming down his face. Oh no. Mixed with blood. <laughs> Stop putting some sort of visual in my mind. Uh, so unnecessary, guys. Look, my, no hands. The uh, face you just made. <laughs> Say something I forgot now. Uh, Why? Well, I don't know, but just because I'm shocked. Either way, the short song's from Michael. Yeah, oh, what's up? Bagel, 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 bagel. He drew the uh, the background we used last week. Oh, okay. really? So That's awesome. He did another one. I'm looking forward to seeing it. So, uh, boom! Wow, oh, that cool. is pretty cool, dude. So cool this is landing. it's like a uh, us landing in like enemy territory. That's like. The satcom the link up, yeah. Hmm, very Operations. cool. Oh, the of Where the agents? What well, um, is this like mimicking like a game? No, it's sorts? just it's just. Oh, you're original as fuck, then. Good for you, Michael. <laughs> <laughs> it has very StarCraft feel with the hexagon yeah. moving places, but you otherwise... stole from StarCraft. Fuck you, Michael. <laughs> no, no, <laughs> I didn't. just flip on him. <laughs> <Not immediately. laughs> it's uh, it's very cool though. I like it a lot. Thank I like you, Michael. It a lot. I like, the blue, I like the color. Blue. Pretty cool. Green. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, cool. Thank you, Michael. Thanks, Michael. Awesome. 
Uh, this next one is from Aaron. A Aaron. 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 <laughs> Say, um, I'm looking forward to seeing your picture, Mr. Rogers. <laughs> so wow. we will see. We will see. We're fighting an unknown enemy off screen. Okay. Right. He didn't have enough paper to draw it. Is my hand on fire? Uh, yeah. No. Do it I is. have the power of fire? Yes. Command man, all over. And, <laughs> and I'm in a diaper. <laughs> and Al is shooting you in the ribs. Yeah. <laughs> Directly in the ribs. <laughs> uh, I'm saying, looks like you just got breached. Nice. Um, does anyone want to do a side impression? Yay, dude! <laughs> do you see? <laughs> I look like I have a Ninja Turtle face. Look at, look at, yeah. my, look at mine <laughs> and Reggie's tiny little baby heads. <laughs> <laughs> I like that you act, you accurately depicted my karate chop action. Because yeah. I do have that. Why like, am I being <laughs> shot and karate chopped? You're behind us, technically. Uh, okay. Understood now. This lines up real well. I was just like, why do my friends hate me? <laughs> we have to so find just, these people. We immediately attack them. <laughs> quickly, get them. <laughs> so he's just flying around with his pot of gold like he's the fucking thing in Mario. That throws <laughs> out oh spiky God, shells. Yes. Oh, what would he drop? <laughs> would he drop beers on Mario? Perfect. That'd be awesome. A little PBR cake. Oh, yes. <sighs> like the mini Heineken one. Oh. Perfect. I just realized I have those. I don't know what these are called. The, uh... Oh, the, the Jewish... Yeah, the uh, dread... The, no, I mean, not dreadlocks. They grow that. It's actually the, the, the Jewish The Mazel Tovs. Yeah. The not, Mazel Tovs? Not, not what they're called. Oh, no, you're right. It's the Havanagilas. Uh-huh. That's... Yep. That's not even a Jewish word. Yes, Havanagila? Is it? I don't know. Hava. You never heard... Hava. Oh, Hava. Hava. I never heard it said without a, a beat. <laughs> <laughs> You know, I need the beat. It's actually, uh, that word is uh, Jewish for dragon, and that's when they summon the dragon. <laughs> it's very. Is that what they've been doing? Yeah, it's pretty deep. Dragon, boy. come on now, dragon. <laughs> come on now, dragon, and give us all your fucking gold. <laughs> <laughs> it's a dragon's like, fine. Here's if you gold. shut the fuck up, Stop I'm singing. <laughs> that's what Skyrim's all about, actually. Oh, is it really? <laughs> yeah. So, I gotta play that game. <laughs> <laughs> Like because I'm a child and don't know. How to... It's the wide rim. Did you get rim. pudding on you? Yeah, I did. <laughs> I drank out of this glass and it turned into pudding <laughs> on my face. Uh, well, thank you, Aaron. This is awesome. I like Very this. cool, Aaron. Well done, Aaron. Mucho appreciado, Aaron. Fantastic. Uh, next speak. up is uh, Imperial Marshmallow. Yes. Hello, fellow Marshmallow. And, you know it. Uh, boom. Wow. Hello. So. There my, we go. Is that? Am I? You guys are my little tater tots. I Do I have like bat wings? We're like little guardian angels. Oh, is that what it is? I, I, are I we fairly odd parents? Yes. <laughs> the worst I think we're the souls of Reggie everyone taters. she's killed. To so my Michonne, like that. Yeah. I look like Michonne here. And you yeah, just ripped sight. You have a cape. A I do. Bit. I have a little mini cape. Yeah, little you very cape. rarely get drawn with a cape. I don't. Yeah. Usually. I mean, I, I feel like sight. there's not enough capes. Yeah. Yeah. We need more capes. Is that a bow and arrow? Yeah, and Iron Man's arrow. and Iron Man's little. Uh... And oh no, those yeah, those are your taters. No, yeah. I just realized. Okay. You're my tater tot up at the top. Matt's the left. Nagwa's to the right. Uh huh. Sight is dead, and, and then there's two. Another. I think that might be you. As, as a tater, tater tot. I mean, yeah, as a tater tot. A little bow and arrow. That makes sense. This is a, this is a fucking really well done drawing. You yep. destroyed Sight. <laughs> <laughs> like I keep looking. Yeah. <laughs> Ripped in pieces. It keeps you're, worse. you're one slash away from doing the Zorro thing. Actually, yeah. you should do it because you cut him right in the penis. No, this is the scene in the movie where she fucking brings the sword together with the sheath and does a. Tink, and he fucking it blows up. Oh. <laughs> I love that. I'm gonna say like his body slides apart. Yeah, so that's in yeah, that. Pieces. yeah. <laughs> the tater tots this is rejoice. So cool. So I love it. Thank you, Imperial Thanks, Marshmallow. Marshmallow. Love it so and, much. And uh, last but not least is Cramble. Cramble. Cramble, Cramble. 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 Chris Cramble. I <laughs> <laughs> got nothing. Um, and he drew, he, he Cramble drew me. I think eight months ago it was like the space one. I okay. It's probably. I had to look at it to recheck, but his art style is pretty intense. So uh, this is Cramble Who and. Uh, this time? Reggie. Okay. Me? So, uh, boom. Wow. Whoa. <laughs> Holy shit. That is sick. Look at the little sight ornament hanging from. 
That's amazing. Voodoo doll. Sight. He's got he's got pins <laughs> sticking out of him. I love Dude, this. this is that is insane. That is so good. This is so good. You look so badass. I like, do. It's like it looks like it should be like an oil painting of sorts. I yeah. Please make this an oil painting. Yeah. <laughs> do more work for us. <laughs> we will give you nothing. I will pay you. This is so cool though. I love this. And shout outs. <laughs> <laughs> I like your little uh, name tag. Hello, my name is. Your little cat. Taters. Taters in Kill Al, Volume <laughs> One. What do you have in that? What beer? What beer is that? It's an Angry Orchard, of course. Yeah. Of course. I like to keep it light, you know, light and fun when I'm murdering. Look at all the. <laughs> you see the side chat? There's. Dick. It just says dicks. <laughs> there's. But there's three pins in his dick. Of course there are. <laughs> there's three pins in his dick. <laughs> oh my god. This is really amazing. Oh. The face is so cool. I love how they did this. Jesus Very cool. Christmas. I really can't stop looking at it. It's awesome. And uh, Cramble said that he'll draw someone next. He said mm. we could choose, or if, if, you, if you want to just be Reggie. I choose more Reggie. More Reggie. <laughs> 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 to another Reggie. Oh, yeah. Reggie. Uh, we'll, 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 we'll leave, leave it up. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's yeah. up to your discretion. Yeah. Because this is amazing, and and you, I like, I need this in my life. I want to print it out. I want to have it. Send it to me. It's a pretty big. I love it. Two two seven nine by. It's big pixels, so you you probably could print it out. Yeah, I think it Go to uh. Yeah, all those staples. I have staples. <laughs> I have a big pixel too. Mm-hmm. Just don't ask to see it. Oh. <laughs> you pull out a pixel stick. Just sure. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you. Mm. <laughs> so is it that time again? Um, or is it time to hear uh, Tommy Gunn sing? We got, well, let's actually, I forgot. Uh, we got some updates. So let's Fuck do that. Fuck right? <laughs> <laughs> Don't jump to lead, the gun. Yeah, trying to lead it. My apologies. Dun, 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 dun. Real life updates. <laughs> do, 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 do. At the news program. 37 dicks. 37 um. dicks. <laughs> Take one Thirty down, six. pass it around. Thirty-six. That's days. pretty gross. Is it? Yeah. 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 <laughs> Go wash your mouth. <laughs> uh, first one is uh, from Elliot Borge. Elliot oh. Borge. Uh, he says, "Hello, R. Left. Whether you read this on a pad- podcast, 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 to you and your cares. Um, <laughs> whether you read this on the podcast, up to you. But I would like to say how much I like your podcast." Oh, um, Al, you, we're pretty big fans of you. Yeah. Yeah. Pretty cool. True. Uh, Al, you're my favorite YouTuber, and I never thought I would have a chance for you to ever know who I am. The podcast does a good job of being able to freely communicate with you guys. It's really awesome that you guys even remember me. Uh, I know that sounds weird, but it's not something you accept, expect from a famous YouTuber. Sincerely, L.A. Borge, not a terrorist. <sighs> I, love I that. still don't. I love. I still love don't buy his not a terrorist bullshit. No. Like, if you have to remind us, are you sure you're not? <laughs> <laughs> well, we love you, Elliot. We love We're you, We're so Elliot. glad you're around, man. Yeah. Yours, the Elliot War is in, is endlessly entertaining. Uh, I mean, you've probably generated so much content for us. Yeah, definitely. So you do a lot of work for us, man. I don't think yeah. there's been a retaliation since. Borges last. That's no. true. We've not seen. We've not seen LAW. hide nor hair of Elliot W. No. <laughs> no. Hopefully and, soon. Hopefully uh, soon. I gotta be honest. Elliot Borges winning. Disappointed. Yeah. We've got <laughs> <laughs> you step the fuck up, Elliot W. All right. Like, the tired right, is right. not yeah. responding. <laughs> we need some. Oh, oh. <laughs> Matt's getting a little gross. You spit them on the mic. And you're just like, you know, they can't hit them, right? <laughs> I don't care. He felt it. A tui. A tui. <laughs> uh, this next one's from Michael Meh. Michael uh, Meh. Michael Meh. Yeah. We're just getting everybody. <laughs> <laughs> um, he he asked for the advice where the girl was texting him saying she was gonna hurt herself and he didn't oh, know what to yes. do. Oh yes, yep, I actually do remember that one. Uh-huh, me too. Um, he says, hey. Uh, just wanted to say I followed you guys' advice and broke her legs. Goofy face. <laughs> Good job. <laughs> uh, you got that bitch. <laughs> he says, not really. We got in a fight because she doesn't want me joining the Marines and made me choose between her and the Marines. So yeah, I got out got her out of my life real fast. Goofy face. Okay. Um aside from that, I'm tired of not really contributing anything and just taking from the podcast. So I was wondering what you guys would like to see in fan art. 
smiley face. Uh, one of fan art of Sarge is a spit roast in the hallway. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta be honest. I need that in my that, life. That or the, uh, what was it, Deltorium? Deltorium? Yeah, the outside of Deltorium. Yes, I'm still a fan of all the fan fiction between Nikolai and Sight. And More fans. raunchy. Yeah, like, just either in, in a picture or in a story. It's just, it, you know... Warms the heart and, a little bit. Um, I'm assuming that if you got the girl out of your life real quick, that means that you chose to join the Marine Corps. Um, if yeah, if that was your decision, you know, uh, good on you, man. Yeah, yeah seriously. That's a really tough decision, and not everyone has the balls to do it. So yeah, she sounds crazy. So good, good job. Good, good luck. Yeah. Um, he said, uh, I could I could just draw Saich getting fucked by a guy, but that's not original. <laughs> no, but getting fucked by two revolving wall dildos. <laughs> that's a Saich That's a revolution. Hole. Yeah. <laughs> so you've got some ideas, Michael. Run with them. Mm-hmm. Run. Like a spit roast over a horribly <laughs> gay fire. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. What music was playing? Oh uh, my god. Just, oh, my first instinct is just Prince. It's just, <laughs> it's 16 hours of Prince. I was gonna say, call on me. Oh, that's a pretty good answer, too. <laughs> One is the loneliest number. Oh, that's just sad. <laughs> I would go with the, with the nice little Backstreet Boys. Yeah. Backstreet Boys. You wanted it that way. way. Yeah. Take her Backstreet Boys. I don't know. Not who you're. Okay. You're a girl. How did you know that? Whatever. Don't stereotype me. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> It'd be funny if it was like it was like something massive, really though. upbeat and and nice though. <laughs> up town, fuck <laughs> you up. Up town, <laughs> fuck, fuck you up. up. <laughs> 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 that is one of my favorite songs right now. I love that song. <laughs> oh, it's so catchy. I don't care who it's you are. It's catchy as fuck. I mean, dude, the dude's talented as hell. Yeah, but uh, it's just not for me. I see why people like it. It's yeah. catchy. It makes well, you look because I look at the dance. It's very similar, like, you know, how fun isn't for you. So. Right. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right. Now let's go to advice. I'm in the advice corner time. Where you write in and tell them what's on your mind. They have experience and wisdom. All what right. do you think Tommy Gunn's Dude. friends call him? Uh, T Dog. Oh. Tom. <laughs> Can you imagine? Gonna go on original. <laughs> yeah. I like I like T Dog. Uh, but it, it I would, is. I it, call him T. T. I'm that guy at work. Like I work with a guy named Justin. I call him Jay. I don't know why. Nobody else calls him Jay. <laughs> <laughs> He's never told me not to call him Jay. Uh, so I call him Jay. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> <laughs> I just heard the guy named Brian. Guess what I called him? Brian. No, B. <laughs> Very efficient. Uh, I w- I think it would. I, I mean, most likely it's just Tommy, but I think it would be hilarious. If we- no, you're all wrong. It's slap tits. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's got a funny story. Yeah. How we they slap my tits. tits. <laughs> <laughs> the end. <laughs> hilarious, right? You want to slap him? <laughs> <laughs> He's funny to be at the whole time he talks to us. <laughs> <sighs> All right. Okay. Uh, <laughs> Alex just like, I'm going to read the email. <laughs> <laughs> to myself. Uh, this first one's from Trip. Oh, what's up, Trip? Hello, Trip. Hey, Trip. Uh, Trip says, hey, guys. Uh, my name is Trip Suit Holes. Trip of Suit Holes. <laughs> yeah, it is. And I'm 12 years old. Okay. What's All right. Around, Trip? He wrote Your that. Your parents are shitty at naming things. <laughs> 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 um, he wrote Matt saying, Jesus Christ. But you didn't say that. Oh, oh. That's okay. Well, yeah, I guess... He'd have to say, like, I'm banging a in, girl. Internally, I was like, 12 is very young. But externally, yeah. I just went, all right. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't want to insult well, you, but Jesus Christ. Yeah. <laughs> Try aging, you. Yeah. I was going to call my name. Get Go back, back in time and tell your parents to... Do it sooner? Call the stork sooner. I don't know if he knows about doing it. Yeah, true. I haven't <laughs> watched The Miracle of Life yet. <laughs> Um, anyways, there's this girl, and I really like her. Of course Aww. there is. Why wouldn't there be? Um, I even told her about this. I told her how I feel, and she didn't tell me anything. Uh, long story short, I had a meltdown and started yelling. I said, 
I'm sick of your shit, and I can't take it anymore. Not the way oh, to right. treat the girl that yeah. you like. <laughs> no. Why? Right. Don't do oh, that. I like you so much. Oh, oh, why can't you just like me back like it's supposed to be? <laughs> like, what are you doing? I just want to bite you. <laughs> like a puppy. So now we don't really uh, talk, even though we Shocker. used to be friends. My uh-huh. question is, how can I restart with this? I really want to start talking to her again because I think I might love her. But anyways, have a fun time. Remember to eat the sandwiches I packed you this time, kids. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Trip. Thanks, Trip. <laughs> I, I, you know what? Next time, I don't like mustard. Just saying. Yeah. No, no, yeah. Uh, all, does anyone like mustard? I don't like mustard. Besides Sage. Yeah. I don't like honey mustard. I don't yeah, like honey mustard, mustard really. Yeah. yeah. No, I don't like mustard. All right, now that we've got the mustard conversation, yeah. all right, so we get all the way. Yeah, you uh, apologize you, real quick, I guess. Apologize. Um, honestly, I don't like your chances here, Trip. No. Nope. Uh, number one, before you had yelled at her, you expressed your feelings, and she did not seem very interested. And then instead of responding with "Oh, okay, that's understandable," because you're a human being and we human beings have different opinions, you yelled at her. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. I mean, I, a, I know yeah. it's obvious, but you, you can't yell at someone for not feeling the same way you do. It just can. doesn't work like that. True. But you, yes, you absolutely can. can. It may not be the smartest decision, but you absolutely can. You I mean, physically, are you able to? Yes. yes. Have you ever heard I've of done it. a politician? <laughs> <laughs> Physically, you are able to, yes. Is it a smart thing to do? No. Will it accomplish yeah. anything? No. no. Is it going Sometimes. to help your relationship? No. Sometimes. <laughs> Depends. So, um, apologize is the first thing. Apologize. If you want to get back into her life, apologize. Tell her, look, I'm sorry I reacted that way. I feel really strongly about it. Um, and then see where it goes from there. But be prepared for not... If she, yeah, if she doesn't like you, then just move on. There's no point. Try and be friends with her, but don't hope for anything else. Because you're just wasting your time. This is what I'd do. <laughs> oh, I'd buy her a gift. Uh-huh. But don't think in the box. Think outside of the box. Think like, get her a book. And like, it's got to be like a weird book. Like, the, the Shooter's Bible. <laughs> <laughs> get, get her like the Shooter's Bible and write a little note. Like, you know, you better fucking love me. And just... just <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, okay, I have... I have a question yeah. for after we are done with advice. Okay. I have a question to close out the show. All right, cool. All right, cool. <laughs> Is it what do you do when there's a gun around? <laughs> no. no. The girl that you like doesn't like you. Yeah. Tell an adult. Yeah. And say, then, can I touch the gun? Yeah. yeah. Yes. No, I don't want to touch the gun. If there's a gun, I don't want to be there. Oh. <laughs> Just fucking hit. Yeah. Uh, already? Podcast out forever. I uh, hope that helps, Trip. Uh, yeah. Next one's from Jake. Hey, Jake. Jake, boom. Uh, this is all, he's also known as Discreet Penguin. He sent us stuff. Oh, oh I yeah. remember Discreet Penguin. <laughs> I remember you. Uh, I see him coming. He says, it's been a while. Uh, missed y'all. Anyway to business. Uh, so there's this girl. And then it says, fast forward one response and 14 weeks of R left. Thanks for the advice, guys. I showed her my balls, and now we're dating. Nice. Oh, I knew it. Oh, I knew it. That's why Perfect. we keep saying it. Nice. It's got to work sometimes. It work. <laughs> yeah. uh, just kidding about the balls. Although I do have a girlfriend, and she's freaking amazing. Good for Aww, you, man. man. Uh, literally the best thing that's I mean, ever who happened Who wouldn't love a penguin? I, I know, right? They would look like little like, men who yeah, going around in suits. Little suits. Little suits. Oh, that's uh, racist. What? What? Waiters? To the... To the <laughs> To the orange penguins. Um, After several failed attempts, several of which you've witnessed to some extent, I finally found someone who makes me incredibly happy to be with. Uh, For the first time in my life, I can say I'm in love. Uh, Which comes comes from someone who has never believed that he has any idea what love is. Uh, It'll sound stupid, and I have no doubt in my mind at least one of you will make fun of me, but this is the closest I've ever been. Matt's already making fun of you. (laughs) Do any of us really know? No, yeah, no. Uh, that's very cool, discreet penguin. I'm happy for you. Um, uh, oh, actually, Matt. Uh, I'm so uh, sorry. Did he ask for advice? It did, I, yeah, I know. I was okay. Just, okay. Oh, no. it's like, okay. Should we uh, tell him to keep, keep, keep on chugging? Uh, <laughs> keep showing your balls. Yeah. The problem is this. There are times when she's, in her own words, 
just really sad. Uh-huh. And there's nothing to do about it. Oh, um, you got one of those. Basically, yeah. oh, she flips flops. Got a shell on his hand. Oh, oh no, you got a stage five bitch. <laughs> <laughs> she flip flops from being happy to being really upset and just kind of shutting down. She mostly refuses to talk to me about any of it, usually brushing me off and telling me she's only ever dealt with it in her head. She's starting to open up to me this past week, so by the time you read this, it'll be 12 years ago. And while our conversations have been pretty good, she still doesn't want me to have anything to do with it. She says it's a sign of weakness and doesn't want to hurt me by involving me, saying it's not fair to me. She's, she's a Spartan. I know, that's what I was thinking. Like. She's getting ready for war. Yeah. Uh, my question is, what can I do, if anything? I really can't sit by and watch her have these breakdowns, even with the knowledge that they're temporary. My plan at the moment is just to comfort her when she's down and just listen whenever she wants to talk, which is the current place we're at, but I still feel like there's something more I can do to help her. I'm incredibly good listener, but I feel like there's something more in terms of responding to it. She doesn't really seem to listen to what I'm saying or doesn't really believe me. Is there anything I can do about this? What's the best course of action? Sorry for the essay. If you get back to me ASAP, that'd be incredible. If you need more info for a better response, I can do that. Oh, trust me. I don't need more info. Yeah, I, I mean, know where you are. Matt's right Matt ready to go. Yeah. Yeah. Matt's so, ready to go. Real answer, just be there for her. Yep. Fake answer. Tell that bitch to suck it the fuck up. Yeah. Okay, so listen, <laughs> what you got? What you got is a stage four said bitch on your hands. No. Yeah. Uh, she's going to attempt to bring you down to her level. I'll preach. In order to elevate herself, this is what's commonly referred to as the bitching syndrome, mm-hmm. where it, or said bitching syndrome, where you are are you're a sad bitch, and you bring other people down to your sad bitch level. Oh, he said it. <laughs> Uh, no. <laughs> why do I have, like... Why do I have a a gospel, like, with yeah. a black... Oh, like an old black woman in the background to say preach. Um, no, but in all honesty, people who are sad... <laughs> child. <laughs> just wave. Child, please. <laughs> um, in all honesty, uh, generally people who are sad who are around your age, people who are legitimately sad, are usually silent sufferers. People who are outwardly sad at your age, people who bring their own problems, or, or not their own problems, but like bring attempt to bring you down with their sadness, are generally looking for one thing, and that's attention. Ding, 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 ding. And that's what she wants from you. She wants your attention. She doesn't want you to comfort her. Or, or Well, no, she does want you to comfort her, but she's not actively, she, she's actively looking for things to be sad about so you can comfort her. That is her way of be her way of being your girlfriend, is to be sad and have you comfort her, and that in turn makes her happy because not only are you comforting her, showing her that you care for her, but you're giving her attention, which is what she wants. She wants attention. Uh, That's to very be, correct. To be honest, yeah. Not much you can do about it. If you really like the girl, you're kind of gonna be stuck there. I could tell you until I'm blue in the face to fucking. Drop it because you're not going to be happy and it's not going to, you know. Oh, and mean, I'm not saying drop it right away. Yeah. I'm just saying, but like. It, you're talking, of course, about a human being. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I mean, just be like. And it's it's such a hard situation because even if you do truly like this girl, then going up to her and saying, uh, listen, could you stop being. Slide Flynn. A, a miserable <laughs> bitch. Flynn. Like, 90% of the time, you can't say that. Yeah. Uh, you can kind of only just really, like, go with it and just be like, oh, yeah, yeah. you're 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 fucking sad again. Uh, <laughs> of okay. course. Okay, to, to, to relate this. Now, I'm putting you on the spot, so I don't know if you've got one, like, ready to, like, cham- in the chamber. Do you have any... The reason why you have so much to say on this topic is because you had a lot of experience with this when you dated Michelle. Yes, I had a sad bitch girlfriend. Do, do you have any, like stories that really can come to mind where her desire for attention um you know ruined a good time for you oh my god yeah i know i know you probably have a count but is there like one that you can bring to mind prom yeah our junior our junior I, our junior prom yeah what happened uh we we were all going out together i think that was the one where we did tour buses yeah, was a tour bus and there was a limousine tour bus and a limousine that's senior prom that was oh, senior okay. prom junior prom there was a there was a small party bus and we out, went out east, uh, and then senior prom, we were supposed to have a big party bus, because there's 40 of us, but we got fucked. Yeah, yeah and they, they gave sent us... us one small party bus and two limos. 
We're like, back to adding more cars. Just not. <laughs> Doesn't help. Oh, we'll split up the group. Yeah. <laughs> so I got split up. Uh, and it was me and Michelle. And uh, all of Michelle's... Closest bitches. Closest bitch friends. Yeah. And their boyfriends. <laughs> Our best bitches. Yeah. <laughs> we just we just a bunch of bad bitches who cry all the time. <laughs> um and literally like like everyone is supposed to be having fun. It's after prom. You hire limos, you drink in the back of the limos, you go and do fun things. No. No. She was sad. And her <laughs> sadness was in turn I had to be there I couldn't have fun. I wasn't allowed to drink from the flask that I had bought. I wasn't allowed to... I, I didn't even come out and hang out with guys when we stopped to take a picture at the bridge during sunrise. That's fucking right. Yeah, yeah. I was in the limo with my arm around my sad girlfriend the night after prom. No. I was fucking pissed. Yeah. <laughs> it, now, did, it, oh, did you ever... No, uh, uh, did you ever find out the source of her sadness because that night it's just it's just, it can be anything yeah we're growing up oh huh. huh. no shit yeah that's what the fuck happens yeah <laughs> we get to drive and shit when we're older it's fun yeah it's cool absolutely it's like oh okay, okay we're growing up you have told me several times that you don't like any of the bitches we're in this limo with. <laughs> what the fuck are we sad that we're Imagine growing up? You said that to her. <laughs> oh in God. front of them. Imagine, this story would be very different. Oh my so, God. Well, there was the time I got dumped at prom. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. I fucking like like I could have sat in that limo and been like, "You called her a slut. You said she was a bitch. You fucking said you don't like hanging out with her because she's boring as hell." Why? Are we doing this shit where you're like, I don't want to leave. You do. Yeah. Everybody does. It happens. High school's great, but then everything else afterward is good too. It's yeah. not like it gets fucking worse. It's fine. But yeah, you got a sad girlfriend and you need to figure out whether your happiness overall for the long run is worth more to you than general sadness most of the time and this girl. Mm. It sounds like you're very happy now, but just make sure to keep. That'll change. Yeah. That'll change. Uh, just make, make I mean, sure, because you you know it, it started off very nicely how much you're in love with her and everything, but just make sure as the as it goes on that you stay happy, and if you don't, yeah, gotta weigh your if options. If he's constantly sad, then it's not. Yeah. But he seems. You're a young guy. Like it's you don't want to spend... You're such a handsome boy. Oh my Why God, are you dedicated yeah. so much de time? You're a delicious penguin. I want to bite you. Mm -hmm. I just want to bite those bite cheeks you. right oh, out. The cheeks. Penguin penguin cheeks. Do the, the thing with your arms. I flap, flap, do the flap, flappy thing. The flap thing. Feed you birds. Do that. And just flap it around. Fish through my mouth. It's so delicious. Chew it up and put it in your mouth. Oh gosh, you love it. Is that the end of our advice? Oh, it is. Oh. Where we tell them to feed them birds. That's your mouth. All right, this will be a somewhat quick question. All right, let's say you are in a relationship with someone. Anyone? No. Oh. <laughs> Hollywood. <laughs> uh, let's say you are in a relationship with someone, and that someone has done something to earn your ire. You are angry at them. Mm -hmm. Angry enough to the point where you want to break it off. You suddenly come into a large amount of money. And you can pull off whatever stunt you would like to to break up with them. Like the most grandiose breakup. I mean, it doesn't story. even have to be grandiose. You, okay. I'm just saying, like, money is somewhat not of an option. Mm. Like, like you, can, you can't you can fucking hire a blimp to fucking drag flyers across the sky with naked photos of her. But, oh, okay. Wait, so the other, so the other person... Is but, oh, so you don't want my answer. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> okay, so the other person has done something to piss you off. The other, the other person has done something to okay. earn your iron. Because what, I have thought about this, yeah. and I already have my answer set out, and I can give it to you guys <laughs> if you would like to talk. Yeah, no, I want you to go first. Okay. Oh, okay. So if the other person has, has done something to the point where I know I'm going to break up with them... Oh. And I, money is not an option. I am taking them out to a nice dinner. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to call them and say, Hey, I made reservations for us tonight at this place. I'm going to be running late. Can you meet me there? Dress nice because it's a really nice place and I have a gift for you. It's, it's something special. Oh, okay. So she gets all dressed up nice and she goes there and 
I tell her it'd be there at like seven thirty, and I'll be uh, seven, and I'll be arriving there at around seven fifteen. So they'll seat her, and at the table will be a lovely gift wrapped box. Okay. And it'll be you know about about a foot and a half long, about you know four inches high, and it'll be beautiful, and it'll just have a card on the front halfway open that says, "Open me." Mm. And so she'll sit down and she'll order. You know she'll get ready and she'll open it up and. Inside will be the biggest fucking dildo <laughs> that's ever been made yeah. by man. Mm-hmm. And then she, she, inside there's a card and she, she, what the fuck? And she'll pick it up and open it and it'll say turn around. And I'll have instructed the maitre d at the restaurant to give her a window seat so that when she turns around I'm right nearby and I'm standing there. Uh, and I'm just flipping her off <laughs> while I'm paying a prostitute to blow me in front of her. <laughs> Pretty good. That's that's. Uh, and, uh, God damn it, that is pretty good. And then I I do this with my finger, like flip it around, and yeah. she flips around the card, and it says it's over. <laughs> just in case she was. Just in case she wasn't fully aware. What's going on? So this is a it's bad surprise. Good. Oh man. Can the dildo say like "fuck yourself"? <laughs> fuck yourself. Yeah. <laughs> Go fuck yourself. Oh, I'm sorry, that's what yes. should be on the card. Yeah. yeah. I think it should be written on the dildo. <laughs> Just <laughs> on the dildo. Yeah. Go fuck yourself and then her or full name. Money <laughs> Go, Go fuck, fuck yourself, yourself some Michelle. <laughs> <laughs> Beautiful script. <laughs> it's a really elegant dildo. <laughs> like it's made out of <laughs> It's like made out of onyx. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, God. Al, would you like to take a swing? <laughs> I've got mine if you're not ready. Absolutely. Yeah. All right. Um, so mine would be, um, I'd invite him to like this hall, and I've um, I spent a lot of money, and I've I've gotten his whole all of his family in. Oh, okay. Just, you just, brought in his family. Just the whole, all oh, everyone, Ooh, everyone this, that ever existed, Gram- grandparents, uh-huh. you know, aunts, uncles, baby cousins, just the whole the whole enchilada. So they're all there waiting, and you know, you bring him in, and it'll be it'll be around. You know, some sort of holiday, a birthday, or something. And so it's not a so random event. Yeah, so like he walks in, he'll be all surprised, and everyone goes, surprise! And like, no one really tells him what it's for, and you know, it's, it's the, the night's going well, and no one really says anything, and he's just enjoying himself, and you know, then the, the, you, you, put, you present a slideshow. Uh-huh. And, and you show his dick to his whole family. <laughs> <laughs> That's that's mostly what the slideshow's about. Okay, and it's just end, different pictures of his dick? It's just different pictures of his dick, like different angles. Okay. And then at the end, there's a slideshow of the girl, which he's, in, he's evidently cheating on me with, because that's the only thing that would really get me mad, i got to be honest. Okay. So then there's a picture of her, and then somehow I've gotten one. Okay. Of, of her doing something sexual. I mean, with again. enough money, you, you... With enough money, I can, I can figure it out. Get a little, so get a little baby there. cam, nanny that, cam. That gets up there. So now the, the, baby, the babies and the children of the audience are just... They're more they're, oh, they're they're scarred for life. Right. So not only have I ruined his reputation within his family, but I have ruined the lives of his younger, you know, family members. Wow. And that's you it. went after right. the innocents. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> if you're gonna go big, you're gonna go big. So. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm just saying. <laughs> you get, you're wrong. You're gonna get it wrong. Jesus. Mike, do <laughs> You're late right now. <laughs> Don't look. What about you? Oh. I, I can't think. I, like, I don't know what. Okay. Uh. So what I would do is I would invite this young lady out. Um, uh, in this fantasy, um, we are at a sporting event. Okay. Whatever is our favorite sporting event, I'm going to use uh, hockey. Okay. All right. Let's say we're big hockey fanatics, and we always go to the same hockey team. Whatever. Uh, I am going to <clears throat> pay enough money to the owner of the arena or stadium or whatever. The stadium, because we're doing it at the American Classic. Okay. Um, okay? A stadium. As many people as possible. And I'm going to have her come out, like, full on, I'm going to propose to this girl. Oh, nice. Like, absolutely, it's going to be a big wedding proposal-esque thing. I want fucking parachuters. <laughs> 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 the Blue Angels yeah. fly through. <laughs> <laughs> like, it's nuts. Like, I'll make artificial snow if it's not snowing, so it's perfect. <laughs> and then right when she opens the ring, it is going to be a completely encrusted diamond hand holding up a middle finger. Nice. 
and I will get off of my one knee and just just walk away from her. So she has to stand by herself in the middle of the ice in front of all of these people. That's brilliant. You wouldn't have, you wouldn't have, you wouldn't have leaned in. See, I would have leaned in a little bit just when she opened the ice and been like, go fuck yourself. Yeah, so and I was going, just, oh, you know. I'm so sorry. I probably would have said, like, it's over. <laughs> just a little something something for her. Anything She's like, what is, is this? better than you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you just spit on her foot. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Leave. <laughs> I like that. I like the diamond encrusted middle finger. That's brilliant. Yeah. I never thought of that. <laughs> um, all right. <laughs> You're like I'm not. I'm not uh, right. All right. I know you said we can't do blimps, but we're, I'm going all out. Yeah, right? you said okay. money's not an option. I mean, yeah, yeah. I'm you going can do, past I, blimps. Okay. So no, I, no, no. Do a zeppelin. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't say anything about zeppelin. I didn't. <laughs> it's the loop. And the claws. Um. I hire a bunch of scientists, um, and they develop this thing where I can uh, inseminate like a balloon nice. in her, yeah. so she thinks she's pregnant, but it's just a balloon. So, this is psychological. <laughs> um, so she gets pregnant with my balloon, but she thinks she's really pregnant, and then we get married and all that. <laughs> oh um, my god! <laughs> you're in the you're in for the long con. So we get married. Long con. <laughs> we get married. <laughs> And we buy a house. We're together for 25 to 30 years. <laughs> you know. We raise the balloon baby as our own. <laughs> and uh, she's having the baby. She goes into labor. And uh, the doctor's all there. And I'm there at the video camera and recording it. And then they, and they're like, oh, we can't get out. We're going to have to do a C-section. So they do the C-section. They open it up. And then like I'm like, oh, I want to do it, doctor. And he's like, no. And then I'm like, I, I, he's a he's an actor. So I'm like, <laughs> well, then. I take a knife out and I stab him. And I kill the doctor, and I throw him. And she's like, what are you doing? I was like, you can't move, or something. Yeah. And then I open the C-section up, and I open it up, and I'm like, oh, it's a balloon baby. And she's like, what? what? And she's horrified. And I, and I pop it open, and there's a little Chinese fortune cookie, and it says, it's over. <laughs> Single you are. <laughs> Learn how to say Yoda in Chinese. I gotta be honest. I gotta be honest. I never imagined the scenario where we started surgery. That's so good. Well, I was, I was like, it's pr- it's brilliant. Know. No, please. I, I mean, know. that may be the worst one. Yeah, no, yeah. she would. Yeah, she'd be insane after that. Yeah, yeah. she'd be horrible. And also potentially dead because you're not yeah. a doctor and she's now cut open. Yeah. Well, we have a doctor on staff, of course. I mean, money's yes. no option, and he's prank war. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, no, I'm really gonna go out all. On this, I'm gonna go to med school. Yeah. <laughs> Learn how to do a C-section. Spend, spend Everything about this school. will be perfect. <laughs> Major in uh, obstetrician, gynecologist. I'll, just, I'll figure it out. It. That's pretty good. Yeah, that that's a good, good question, man. Oh, Thank you. Question, man. I loved it. I gotta be honest though; those girls would be pretty angry, and and boy would be pretty angry after that. They might come after us. Yeah. Oh. Would you, I mean that they're not going to though, right? I mean, and nothing's <laughs> happened yet, so no. But if Nothing's they were things happen yet, right? Yet, yet, yet. yet. <laughs> yet. It may happen. Well, if they were going to come after us, what do you think they'd come after us with? No, no. Gun. machetes, yeah. machetes, mostly. maybe a gun. Ooh, hand grenade, crowbar, Ooh, hand grenade, a gun, a gun. You mad? A gun? <laughs> Am I mad? <laughs> you mad? Like mad crazy? Oh, okay. <laughs> no, you don't understand. In the video games I play, the common thing to say if someone is actually mad is, "You mad? You mad? You mad? Why? Oh, you sound mad. But are you mad though? You mad, bro? <laughs> like, and you can't argue how, against how often, that. How often does someone say, "Add the bro"? Um, uh, the bro every other time they use it. Yeah, because the bro for me is what really cuts. No, <laughs> it's not the bro. It's just the fact that like. If you say something, then they're just going to say, you mad? Oh, but are you mad, though? <laughs> so you're really you're mad? You're not a rational person that I'm going to have a conversation with. <laughs> yeah, no, but you're mad, though. I'm not actually mad. I'm uh-huh. just ending the No, but of- you seem like you're mad, though. <laughs> I, we, How mad are you, bro? I, I, <laughs> <laughs> like, there's just nothing you can do. It's the perfect internet argument. <laughs> like, are you mad? Yes, you're just pointing out that I'm angry. Oh, yeah. But are you mad, though? <laughs> Do they do that on League of Legends? Oh my god. Really? That's the only thing Oh yeah, you can mute them. And it usually... I've started every game now by muting the people on my team. Really? Oh yeah, every single game I mute them. People on your own team do this to you? Oh my god. People on your own team are the worst. 
Because you're fucking it up for them. Uh, so, like, even if you don't, if you do something that's, like, not really wrong and it just didn't work out well, they're like, fuck you, stupid. <laughs> I'm like, oh, all right. All right. Yep. All right. Well, thanks, I mean, that. You're cool. Yeah. Thank you. I'm going to use a gun and kill you. <laughs> don't do that. Well, I'm not going to do that. Are you Good, mad? because I'm going to leave this game if you do. All right. Well. Because if there'd be a gun <laughs> I mean, there. There would be a gun there, and, yeah. if, and if there's if, <laughs> if there's a fire on there, it? and I, I'm in the vicinity of Like, the I'll fire, be honest, if yeah. you are if you have a gun, I'm going to have a gun. And, and if, if, if I need a gun, I don't want to be there. 